Hello everyone, Silver Conundrum here. I come to you today with an unboxing. So this right here is something I've been bragging about for a while now. I have been waiting for this particular package to come in. This right here is an older package that, or older coin I should say, that has been out for about three to four months now. And I finally found it at a price where it is not going to break the bank. And I found it at a price where if I wanted to resell this coin, I could still make a profit on it. Can you guys guess who I got it from? Yeah, that's right. The same person I have been buying a lot of coins from lately. Trade Zone 212. The man, I don't know how he does it. I don't care how he does it. But I'm wanting to let you guys know this guy right here has coins that are just unbelievable. If you put them in your cart, literally, he will send you an offer that's anywhere between $20 to $30 to $40 off. So... Take the time to check him out on eBay. I'm going to leave a link in the description section below to his eBay account. The guy is awesome. So I'm going to do a quick review on his packaging skills, uh, what we got in the box, how we got things sent off to us. This right here package is absolutely awesome. And if this is just one of those things I want to share with everybody, and as long as he's doing these good deals, I want everybody to take advantage of this as much as I am. Because don't worry about the whole Nismatic side of things. Nismatics is one of those things that you can still make money on. It might not be a big market as far as just flipping silver. But there is still a very large Nismatic silver market out there, guys. So a lot of people always talk about never collecting Nismatic coins. I am not one of those people who always believe that. I believe you stack what you like and stick to your guns about what you like. And don't let nobody talk you out of it. So, with that being said, I want to show you guys this particular coin and show you guys what it looks like, who it comes from, the works. So, before we get started, let's take a good, quick look at the packaging on this thing. So, it's packaged pretty well. Actually, there's a lot of, there's a lot of thickness to this package. It hasn't been beat up. It hasn't been tossed around. The overall package is really good. I mean, you can see that it's... It's double wrapped, very thick, very sturdy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our handy dandy scissors because we can't find the daggum knife, steel. And we're gonna cut into this thing. We're gonna cut in very carefully across the top and hope to God we don't tear up anything. All right. Let's take a look. So we're past that part at least. You guys would think I would have opened this up beforehand, but where's the fun in that? There we go. So as you guys can see, I want y'all to see what I see. So it's boxed up in some cardboard. He's double wrapped this thing in cardboard and more bubble wrap. This box right here has definitely been taken care of. We're going to get some of this stuff out of the way. We are going to go ahead and cut through the cardboard. Man. Let's try not to force our way into the box. And there we go. So as you guys can see, it was boxed up pretty well. The outside of the box itself so far is looking pretty good. I don't see no damage to it. So we're going to get further into this thing. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's go back to the other side. Looks like we have to roll this. Tell you what, one thing's for sure. The man does not skip on packaging a package. Holy cow. I mean, he does yet to fail me on a package. So, 
Let's see what we got here. Get all this stuff set off to the side. So here's the outside of the box. As you guys can see, there is no damage, no wear, no tear, no dents from where it could have been dropped or mashed. Guys, this thing looks pretty good, pretty flawless. Let's look at the inside. Oh, he even separated the card so the card doesn't get damaged. This is our certificate of authenticity. Let's uh, do a little quick zoom in. So we have a uh, $5 face value. Metal is three nines fine silver. Selective gilding with 24 karat gold antique finish amber. 50 inches or 50 millimeters in diameter. 62.2 grams, which is two ounces. 500 pieces minted. And this is a 2019 coin. So let's get on to what the inside of this box actually looks like. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Guys, look at that. Ooh. Okay, we're going to open this up. I'm going to open this up for you guys. I want you all to see this thing. And mostly because I want to see it. Oh God, don't let me drop this coin. Tell you what, this capsule, guys, is thick, thick, thick. I haven't seen a castle this thick in a long time. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there we go. All right, folks. There she is. Look at the detail on that coin, guys. Look at how that stands up. Look at the amber. I mean, you can see right through the amber. Look at that. That amber is absolutely beautiful. It is flawless. 24 karat gold inlays. I mean, look at, just look at the tiles. Let's zoom into that just a little bit. Look at the tiles. Those things are amazing. The rocks, even the bamboo. You can see the lines in the bamboo in the background. Even the samurai is just phenomenal. Ooh, I never noticed that before. Look at there. There's another samurai in the. There's two samurais. Guys, I never even noticed that before till just now. So there's three samurais in this whole picture. You got the big guy there. Then you got the two little guys there. Now that is cool. I never noticed it till just now. Then when you come back over here. Look at that. Guys, this is a coin you just don't get every day. We're going to flip this over. And we're going to look at the back of it. So the back is your standard queen uh, effigy. Elizabeth II, Niwe Islands. $5, 2019, three nines fine. So, I mean, the queen itself, she's just your basic run of the mill queen. Nothing we can do about that. But this, this right here, folks, that right there is where it's at. Look at that. Guys, so the edge on this thing edge on this thing right here is smooth oh man is it smooth very good antiquing on it just want you guys to get a good look at the edge all the way around we'll get it right back up trying to be still for you guys so y'all can see what you got I mean, look, even look at his armor. Look at the bow in the armor. The knots are just phenomenal. I mean, even down to the scaling. The swords, the rocks, the dirt. I mean, everything on this coin, guys. 
Can you imagine how much time it actually took to make this? This thing is just wonderful. So we're going to go ahead and put this thing together and do it as a set and see what happens. And what we're going to do is show you guys where we're at. So we'll set this in here. Oop, let's get it set like this. We'll put this back in its capsule. And like I was saying, guys, y'all see how thick that capsule is? I mean, that's that's my nail. That's how thick the capsule is. So we're going to set this just like that. Bring that over. And that's what it would look like. Just like that. Set it down. Folks, I hope, oops, sorry. I hope every one of you guys enjoy this little video. There we go. And, uh, yeah, that's this 2019 Samurai. Guys, I wish I could have got this coin sooner, but I'm glad I waited till now. And like I said, I have one more coin coming. It's going to be the 2020 coin called Evil. It's part of a two coin set of good and evil. It'll be coming out soon, but I will be leaving a description or a link in the description to this gentleman's channel or not channel, but his eBay page. Like I said, check him out. He has some of the most amazing coins for some of the most amazing prices that I've seen on YouTube, on eBay. I can't find anybody who's beats his prices. I'm gushing over it because if you guys only understood how hard it is to come across some of these coins, you'd understand the value that you can get and how much you can actually flip these coins for later on. So for example, this particular coin, what I spent on this, if I wanted to, I could flip it tomorrow and still make about 50 or 60 bucks off of this coin. So let that be a warning to you guys who believe that numismatics are not a thing. They are. Uh, just have to do it just the right way. So anyway guys, I'm out of here. Please like share and subscribe check out my other channel uh, Videos the unicorn stacker. She's out. She has channels going on. I'm gonna leave a link to her channel below as well Anyway, everybody have a great day. Catch y'all later